this person is in no way related to Mike Rogers, <laughs> and yet continues to have a career in the world of comedy, or at least in the world of selling alcohol to people that frequent strippers. And there's nothing quite as exciting for a comedian than to hear pool balls being racked <laughs> during his show. You know that your career has really taken off when you hear 15 ivory balls hit the fucking felt. Because they go, let's see, world class comedian, eight ball. Let's go for the stars and stripes. Stripes and solids. I have no fucking idea. And this is me without drugs. Isn't that amazing? All right, like I said, this guy doesn't really gobble cock, but uh, pretty sure not a butt pirate, but always very well dressed, which makes us a little suspicious. You know what I mean? You do, don't you? Just, I, I think it's his eyebrows have been just plucked too carefully. <laughs> for me to not think that he might take it in the bum. <laughs> but this is a terrible introduction and I really should stop this. <laughs> Try to be nicer. He has worked very hard to produce the show here at the Bourbon. He and Jesse are completely responsible for bringing comedy out here to Grand Gastown. <laughs> and should be rewarded for that. Please have fun with the infamous Kyle Jones. Yeah. Oh, that was fucking lovely. Thank you so much. If you go off Richard, he's got ball. Guy's got ball. Guy's got ball. He only has one. My bad, I didn't know if you were on the same fucking page or not. Uh, make some noise for the 15 people that left during Marlo's set. Let's keep it going for them. I fucking left after five minutes. Like, this looks like an AA meeting. We're out of here. Let's hear it for Bud Light Live. Let's hear it for Bud Light Live. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, leave. Get out. I'm not here to fucking make you laugh. I'm here to tell you what the fuck to drink. Anyway, well, this is great. Is anyone uh, from out of town? Here. Oh, that's funny. I work with you. Are you guys from out of town? Where are you guys from? Think about it, I'll get back to you in a few seconds. I know, it's, it's a fucking, it's a tricky question. Oh, I also, you know, I figured when there was a pause, I'm like, they gotta be Australians. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for, thanks for coming. To, uh, so, where, which, uh, which hostel are you guys staying at? Where? A free one. A free one? <laughs> yeah, and you guys are, when you guys heading out to Whistle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Excellent. Right on. Cool. Uh, so you guys, uh, you flew all the way to Gastown to see the uh, fucking steam clock? That's good. I love, I love you walk by this clock and there's about, uh, I don't know, 300 Asian people that just spent four grand on a fucking airfare. And they're, they're all standing around for about 55 minutes. This is what it's for. <laughs> And they fucking walk away. That's, that's, really, wow, that's good. I was doing the steam clock in the It was a, that was good. So are you guys a couple? Are you, well, no, because every time a guy has, has made a reference to sleeping with you, you guys laugh. I know it's not been the greatest of looking comics up tonight, but. So you're not a couple. You're, you're, you're straight females. Ah, see, you guys are just fucking ugly. That's all that's going on. For a minute, I'm like, oh, they must be lesbians. But no, they just don't like Marlo. That's all. Sorry, Marlo. I owe money. That's the only reason he was up tonight. Ten bucks. Ah, so Australia, I just want to talk to the Australian people. Uh, thanks for the movie Australia, by the way. That was fucking a brilliant piece. That was great. Yeah, I know it did. Mad Max is better. Mad Max is better, yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of anything Australian, really. Uh, 
Uh, except for your tanning lotion. You've got good tanning lotion, so give yourselves a hand for, for good tanning oil. That's great. Yeah, this job sucks. Uh, are we a single audience tonight? Are you guys single? Anyone yeah. single? <laughs> Jared from Nanaimo. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> I would have thought you were locked up. <laughs> Keeper, he's from Nanaimo and he sells jeans. <laughs> Why isn't your door being knocked on right now? So you are single? Anyone else besides fucking Gene selling fucking Islanders? Oh, you're single? Oh, you're single? Oh, is this more Australia? I uh, know. Oh, Kelowna. Well, welcome. So, wait, did you lose a bet? Why are you hanging out in Australia? Do you, do you have a Craigslist posting? Yeah. Oh, that was not anything negative. Just asked if you met through Craigslist. You know, it's funny, people are actually dating uh, each other off Craigslist now. Yeah, Craigslist. Craigslist, that's right. How good is your sex life when you're meeting people off the same site you sold your fucking couch? <laughs> Things aren't going too well for you. Uh, Vancouver, Vancouver dating seems tough. I don't like doing it. I like, uh, I like the older women. Do you have older women here? Any cougars? Or as I call them, time fighters? <laughs> Sounds like a fucking cartoon. Time fighters. This is these four 35-year-olds flying through the air looking for an 18-year-old cock. <laughs> Think about it. It'd be a cute show. I'd watch it. <laughs> Gentlemen, do you guys, uh, do, do you guys have sex? Gentlemen in here? Some of you that look like you don't even know what that fucking word means, but is there, is there a gentleman on a radio basis? Anybody here have sex on a radio basis? Sir, by yourself, who's filming me right now? I'm assuming you don't have much sex. No. That's cool. But I have a feeling you're gonna have a good time with that tape later on today. Which I don't know if I'm okay with that. But thanks for making eye contact with me. I really appreciate that. That just confirmed that you're a fucking creep. And you're still looking down. And we're wearing almost the same shirt. Still not looking at me. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> S okay. Back to the Australians. All of a sudden, the Australians aren't so bad now. <laughs> Creepy. Yeah. So, John, do you do you use uh, do you practice safe sex? Yeah. Is for anybody that's ever had sex in this fucking room? Have you? <laughs> Yes, thank you, finally. The yeah, Australian, you know what, I'll talk to you, because everyone else is like, oh, I can't get on this fucking questionnaire. <laughs> Neither can you, creepy. Uh, do, you, uh, do, you, uh, do you use condoms? No. No? No? He's getting married. Oh, so fuck, AIDS is cool then if you're getting married? You're like, bypass everything or what? Oh, he's getting married. Oh, cool, that's awesome. I didn't know that was the only fucking shield as soon as you get engaged. Don't worry, herpes, I'm engaged. You can't fucking touch me. Before you, before you decided to uh, fucking throw your life away, did you use uh, condoms? Absolutely. Excellent, okay. It's funny as guys, though, when you're, when you're in bed with, with a new girl and she's like, you know, she's like, you need to put a condom on. First thing we do as guys is try and talk around using a condom, right? You get in bed with a girl and she's like, ah, oh, don't worry about it. First thing we think as guys is maybe we should wrap this shit up. <laughs> Do you guys, uh, you guys do drugs? Anyone do drugs? There you go. All the time. I'm not talking weed. I'm talking like good, good drugs. Yeah, the good stuff. Yeah, you do drugs. Nobody else does drugs here. Australia, do you guys have drugs in Australia? No, because you all keep fucking coming here. So I'm thinking that maybe there's a shortage of some shit over there. Gotta go to Van. Gotta near Van. Cause that was a horrible Australian accent. <laughs> It was like a little Irish midget. Gotta go to Man, gotta get drugs. I'm from Australia. I like Nicole Kidman. I'm a douche.